Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.4. Probably the last big update to iOS 17 before Apple moves on to iOS 18 and releases its first beta of that big update. Of course, in the future we will have more iOS 17 updates, but this is probably the last one that will bring a ton of big new features to iOS. So we're currently on the second beta and we have a lot to talk about here, a lot of great new features and changes and improvements of iOS 17. So first of all, let's get started here with some details regarding the second beta of iOS 17.4. Now the size of this update Update, it will be around one gigabyte of course that's always different based on different devices and whether you're updating from beta 1 or you're updating from another version of iOS 17 and the build number for iOS 17.4 beta 2 is 21e 5195e this is the new build number which indicates that we will probably get another two or three betas before we move to the RC version and then of course the final release to the public which should happen sometime in March. And now let's move on to the new features and changes. Now on beta 1 we talked about new emojis that are coming to iOS 17.4. Well we knew they were coming but now they have actually been added to the keyboard off your iPhone with the second beta and here we have a few of them right there there are over 100 new emojis coming to iOS 17.4 of course when you combine all the different skin tones and all that you can get around 100 or even more new emojis with iOS 17.4 but finally they have been added here and now with beta 2 you will be able to use them now of course if you have like friends that have devices with an older iOS 17 version iOS 17.3, they won't be able to see these until they update to the new iOS 17.4. There's also a new widget here, City Digital is the new widget for your home screen from the clock app. Now it looks pretty cool, you will be able to actually of course change the city that displays right here. We can edit the clock right there, you can just pick any city you want and it shows here the name of the city, the digital clock. You will have this animation around the clock here for the seconds and then it shows here the time change between your current location and the city that you're displaying on the widget. And this right here is also really interesting. Now I haven't been able to get this working on my device, but here's a screenshot from 9tech11 from Twitter. Make sure you go ahead and follow him for more iOS news. It's a great account that I follow. But what you can see right here is a pop-up that you get on the dynamic island, basically trying to use your AirPods maybe, and then they're connected to another device. It shows right here that your AirPods are in use by another device but it also gives you here the option to actually connect them right away from here so you will have a connect button that lets you directly connect your airpods and of course they will be disconnected from the other device we have a new change here on the music app as well we have like a new smooth animation here when changing the title of the song it's quite subtle so a lot of people probably won't even notice it but it's a small change that apple has added to ios 17.4 now the darkened wallpaper has been brought back to iOS 17.4 on the call screen. So whenever you're making a call, you can see now that the wallpaper will have that dark tint, which in my opinion is way better because it makes it way easier for you to see all the different controls. And of course, look at the screen of your device while making a phone call. The player here, the small player on the podcast app has also been updated. So you will get a new smaller design here. It looks much better and much cleaner in my opinion. And also we have now home here on the podcast player. So Apple has basically changed this system wide. Home here, we have it on the music app. And even if you go to books with the second beta, Apple has actually changed this to home as well. So it used to be read now. Now you can actually go here and it says home, just like on the podcast app on, on, and on the music app as well. There's also a new splash screen for the App Store. Once you update to the second beta of iOS 17.4 and you open the App Store, this is what you will see. A safe and trusted place to discover amazing apps and games, ex explore timely in-app events and browse daily stories and recommendations 
by our editors. Basically, Apple trying to push something here, telling you that the App Store is the safest place because, of course, the side loading that will be enabled for EU users with this update with iOS 17.4, but unfortunately not for other users. But again, every user will be able to actually see this splash screen once they have updated to the second beta of iOS 17.4. Another new setting that you will find on iOS 17.4 can be found under privacy here, privacy and security. And then when you go to analytics and improvements, you will see here a button that lets you enable improved wallet connection. So you're basically helping Apple improve their product. This will be disabled by default. If you want to enable it, you can do it right here. Now, another cool thing that Apple has actually added to iOS 17.4, it was here here with beta one, but then they actually removed it with the second beta. They basically disabled it is the live activity for the stopwatch. So you can basically enable the live activity here once you have started your stopwatch and it would go to the dynamic island and of course your lock screen. But I don't know why Apple has actually disabled this. Hopefully it will be back with the third beta. And now let's talk about battery and performance. Of course, two really important things when it comes to iOS 17.4. And when I say that this is quite a big update, I'm also talking about performance, especially performance on iOS 17.4 is actually amazing. But first of all, let's talk about battery right here. So here I have the performance of my device with beta one and the last couple of days here with beta two. So we have here 75% battery, six hours, 40 minutes. Minutes. And then we have here again 75% battery, 6 hours, 23 minutes. Then we have here about 110% battery, 7 hours, 9 minutes. Now, just keep in mind that all these days I've basically used 5G or 4G all the time on my device. So I was always on a cellular connection navigating and that what caused the battery probably to underperform. But again, it should be a bit better with the next beta. Like right here, you can see once I have used my device like on a normal normal day, you can see right here with about 80%, we got eight hours and 80 minutes, 18 minutes. So it's not the best ever, but it's not that bad at all. But of course, always the battery performance will be highly impacted by what you do on your iPhone. Now, when it comes to performance, iOS 17.4 is actually amazing. And we can see here an increase on the single core score and the multi-core score when we compare it to iOS 17.3 and also iOS 17.4 beta one. Now you can see the single core score here is at 2,982. We have about 20 points increase there on the single core score, while the multi-core score is at 7,486. Again, about 30 points increase there on performance, which is really amazing. And this is just day one of me installing iOS 17.4 beta two on my device. Probably if I take this test a couple of days later, it will be even better. So what's next when it comes to iOS 17.4? Well, I would expect Apple to now move on a weekly schedule and actually release iOS 17.4 betas every week. So I would expect Apple on the 13th of February to release another beta, then another one on the 20th, and we might see another one on the 27th before they release the RC version on the first week of March and then the final release of iOS 17 sometime of iOS 17.4 sometime towards the middle of the March, probably the second week here, maybe the 12th or the 13th should be the dates that Apple might release iOS 17.4 to the public. So that's basically for this video, guys. iOS 17.4 is shaping up to be an amazing update with a lot of cool new features but also a lot of improvements in performance so thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one